Okay, sorry about that, guys. Let me ooh, unfreeze my board. Okay. So, if I'm looking at the last, I think we did A. I think we did B. I had a class in between now and then, so we're going to go ahead and do B, even if I didn't. The last three sub-level blocks in the electron configuration for 10 are. So, let's go and look at 10 here. So if you find 10 on here, it is right here. So I am in the P block. I am in this P block now, 2, 3, 4, 5. So right now, that is 5P2, right? Because it's 1, 2. Then I have to look and say, okay, well, what is this? Remember, it starts with 3D, so this is 4D. And this is 4D10, because we went the whole length of it. Then I need to go and figure out what is this. And this is 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 2. So 5s, 2, 4d, 10, 5p, 2. That is the last three sublevels. So 4d, 10, it was, mm, it was this one right here, right? I'm going to go back to it. Yes, 5s, 4d, 5p. All right, so it's the second one. Okay, let's go down to the next one and check. It says using the periodic table, write the electron configuration and abbreviated configuration for each of the following elements. All right, so for zinc, for instance, I'm going to do that here. I'm just going to write it at the top here. It's easier for me to look at the periodic table than having to go back and forth. So for zinc, I find zinc on here. And zinc is right here. So if I'm writing the extended version, I'm going to start here at hydrogen and go, okay, 1s. Two. Lithium and beryllium are going to be 2s2. Here's 2p6. And I hop down here, that is 3s2. Go over here, that is 3p6. Come down here, that is 4s2. And I'm going to go 3d. And that is 10. It's all the way down here at the end, so it's going to be 10. Now, remember about the abbreviated form. We noticed that all of these ended in P6, other than helium, they all ended in P6. So what I'm looking for here is right here. So 3P6 is argon. And you could always look at zinc and be like, what's the noble gas before zinc? It is argon. All right? So the abbreviated form is argon. And then I'm going to write what's left after that 3P6. 4s2, 3d10. So you can see where there's a lot left to write um, for that. Alright, so let's look at the next one, and that is strontium. I'm going to erase all of this. Find strontium right here. Got some dots still around here hanging out. Okay, here's strontium. Alright, so they. If I were looking at this, to me, I'd be like, oh, you know what? The abbreviated form is going to be so much easier, but it did ask for us to do it all. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit quicker through this. So here's 1s2, 2s2. Now, obviously, you're not going to mark through your periodic table each time you do this. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. 2, 3, 10. Once again, if you're like, ooh, I lost track, 2, 3, 4, because you're going to have that 2P written above here. So 2, 3, 4, 4P, 6, and then, ooh, I'm like, oh, what S did I do last time? I could look up here and see, but I can also just go 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S. 5S, 2. Now, once again, if I'm doing the abbreviated form, I can just look at strontium and be like, okay, what's the noble gas before it's a krypton? Or I could, if I've written all this out, I can be like, oh, there's that 4P6. 2, 3, 4. 4P6 is krypton. And then I'm going to write 5S2. So look at that abbreviated form. That is a lot easier to write than the full-blown, uh, full one. I can't even think of what I'm saying here. All right. So let's do iodine now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Alright, so iodine is down here. This one's going to be a long one. 
So once again, I'm going to go kind of quickly through this. So I'm here, that's 1s2. Now I'm in this uh, period here, so that's going to be 2s2, 2p6. Now I'm here, that is 3s2, 3p6. Here is going to be 4s2, but now I get to 3d. And then 4p. So we get this 4, 3, 4, this back and forth. Now that just is telling me that 4s has a, a lower energy than 3d does. All right, now I'm here at this period, that is 5s2, 4d10, and now I'm in 5p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5p5. All right, so that is a lot. Now once again, I can be like, oh, where is my P6? It's right here. Or I can be like, what is that? the noble gas P4 item? The one after is xenon, but the 4 is krypton. So I'm going to put krypton in brackets, and then I'm going to write the rest of this. 5S2, 4D10, 5P5. Now if I did not have this to look at, I would literally, I'd go up here and write krypton, and then I would just start from right here. And I would put that back. Go one, two, three, four, five S two, three, four, four D ten, and then two, three, four, five P five, which is what I have there. Okay, so if I did not have this to look at, that's what I would do. Okay. Let's look at these learning checks. It says give the symbol of the element. So I need to know what element this is. So for instance, I don't even care about this or this, okay? They, of course they're going to write that because that's the true configuration. But I'm going to look at this thing right here, 3D6. So once I see 3D6, I'm then going to go here. I'm going to say, okay, well, I know this is 3D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is iron. Okay, so this is iron. Now this is 4, 3P electrons. So let's look at that. So here's 2p, here's 3p, and they want four of them. One, two, three, four. That is sulfur. Two electrons in the 4d sublevel. All right, so this is 3d, here's 4d, and they want two electrons. So one, two, that is zirconium. Okay, the element that has the electron configuration. Now they give you this whole configuration. You just really need to look at 3D2. So who is 3D? Here's 3D, 1, 2, titanium. So T-I. All right, and that is the end of those notes. Hopefully, hopefully, this made a little bit more sense to you guys. Hopefully it'll help you out understanding it. Um, if you're still confused, then just let me know when you come back and we will work on it. All right, so for the worksheet, let me pull that up. Um, you are writing the electron configuration for the following using only your periodic table. I don't want you going back to your notes and the kids that are here, I'm not going to let them use their notes. So I don't want you going back to this chart here. Use your periodic table to write them out. Let me find it here. Oh, it's here. All right, now you're going to write them out like the full-blown, full version of them. And then down here, you're going to do the abbreviated. Now, I've had kids that don't like the abbreviated, but try to do the abbreviated. And then this last one is just like that last learning check we did. You're reading these, um, and you're telling me what element they're, they're describing. All right, so that is it for the worksheet. If you guys need anything, let me know. Have a great rest of your time. Your trip. Bye.